The UConn women's basketball team continued to dominate on the offensive side of the ball, defeating the Temple Owls 109-74 in the annual Play for K pinkout game. Temple hung around with UConn in the first half, benefiting from terrific three-point shooting. Both teams lit it up from deep in the opening half, combining to make 15 of 25 shots from downtown. Despite Temple's success, the Huskies were able to impose their will on the Owls. By halftime, Nafisa Collier, Crystal Dangerfield, and Katie Lou Samuelson were all in double figures. Temple's shooting regressed in the second half, making only 32% of their shots from the field, but UConn did not slow down. Collier added 12 points after halftime to give her 30, matching her season high which also came against Temple in their January matchup. She added 14 rebounds for her 12th double-double of the season. People already have made up their mind who the best player in the country is, or who the national player of the year is, whatever, any of that. I just don't know that there's anyone that on every single night does all the things that Fisa does. Dangerfield made her first five three-pointers and a finish with 22 points and nine assists. Samuelson was an efficient six of nine from the field, giving her 19 points. With the 19 points, she passed UConn legends Rebecca Lobo and Kara Walters to become number eight on the UConn all-time scoring list. The Huskies will look for similar production this Monday when they face off against number 12 South Carolina at the XL Center. From Gamble Pavilion in Storrs, Connecticut, I'm Jake Ferrari, UCTV Sports.